All right, this is the Algebra 2 into course test or into course practice test number one, question number 36. The question says, the period for a pendulum to complete one swing is t, the time in seconds. The period can be approximated by the formula t equals 2 pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum divided by 9.81 in meters. Uh, if the period of a pendulum is 2.5 seconds, what is the closest to the length of the pendulum? Now, the real issue here is they give you seconds, but what you're very likely to do is just go ahead and plug that 2.5 in for the length of the pendulum, but that's not really what they want you to do. What they want you to do is take the equation, so don't fall for their tricks, they're just trying to confuse you. Plug in 2.5 right there. Now what we're going to do is work it out to try to find what our uh, length of the pendulum happens to be. The first thing that we need to do is get rid of this times 2 pi. And I'm going to divide by 2 pi, shockingly enough. And if I do that, all I have to do, I'm going to give my calculator out because I'm super lazy, and uh, type in 2.5 divided by and I'm going to be smart here and make sure I put that in parentheses because if I don't, Lord knows, all kinds of things could go wrong. And if I could figure out... There it is. Couldn't find pi there for a second. There it is, so 0.397. I felt like one of those ladies who puts it on the windowsill in a bad cartoon and all of a sudden my pi is gone. So then I need to get rid of the thing that's furthest away from the variable, which in this case would be the square root. So in order to get rid of square root, I need to square it. So I'm going to x square the answer there, and I'm going to get 0.158, more or less. Now all I'm dealing with is getting rid of divide by 9.81. So I'm going to times 9.81. Good idea to use a dot and then use a decimal point, right? Not quite. That's not confusing looking. So my variable answer should be 0.58 times 9.81. I should get 1.55 as my answer. Let's see if that's one of the answer choices. And it is. So my answer for this one would be F. What happens if you don't want to go through all that mess and you just want to plug in the answer choice? It is multiple choice, right? So it has to be F, G, H, or J, and if it's not, something's gone terribly wrong in this question. So the reality is you can actually plug in the answers to see if you can get to the question. So I'm going to clear out all this mess, but that's the way to do it like in a nice way when you don't have all the answers right in front of you. It's not that hard to do, I mean, seriously. You could just plug in the answer choices, so I would do... I can get it to work. Uh, all I'm going to do is plug in these values and see if I can get the value of t, which would be 2.5. So I'll just do 2 pi times the square root of 1.55 divided by 9.81. Close that out, and we're going to see if this gives me the answer I'm looking for. 2.49 round it up, gives you 2.5, which is exactly what you're trying to get for that uh, time. So right there, see how it all connects together? So if I plug it in, I get that one to be the correct answer. So there's a couple ways you can do it. Whatever you feel good in your heart that you need to do, that's what you should do. So good luck.